because they ticket us, they run us out. They, it's, you can't afford to live. No more living in cars or RVs in certain areas of San Diego. Another step forward today for controversial new limits on people sleeping in their cars. Homeless advocates fighting to block these new rules. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano joining us now live downtown. And Rena, some people say that they have nowhere left to go. Yeah, that's right. We met many people who call themselves van lifers, some by choice, others because it is their last resort. But many of them told me that the van or the car or the RV that they have is the only thing that keeps them away from the elements and the only thing that gives them a sense of dignity. I consider myself upper class homeless. That's what Maria Ennis calls herself because she has a home, just not an address. I have slept behind dumpsters, lived on rooftops, but I moved up and, you know, I own my own van. For the last three years, she's called this Dodge conversion van her beachfront home. Wherever the bathrooms are, where are they at? The beaches. Last year, disability advocates challenged a decades old ordinance that banned people from living in their cars. Since then, Jeannie Lenhart has seen a wave of new, unexpected neighbors. I'm still working at 73 years old to provide my home in Pacific Beach. And for them to live in front of my house for free doesn't make sense to me. The situation, Lenhart says, is getting worse. People defecate outside of their vehicles and urinate. That's why the city drafted a new vehicle habitation ordinance banning people from living in their cars within 500 feet of homes or schools. I mean, I like my setup. It's, it's pretty good for what I do have. They also can't have anything resembling human habitation like blankets, food, and water in their cars. As a solution, the city announced the building of a new safe parking facility for van lifers like Ennis to park overnight. Okay, that's amazing. That's awesome for those 150 people. What about the rest of us? Well, that passes uh, three to one. Wednesday afternoon, the committee passed the ordinance to be considered by city council, a devastating blow to Ennis, who says she can never feel at home in her hometown. And if I own it, I should be able to do with what I want with it, you know? City staff tells me they still need to do some research and find out some data on the actual people, the number of them living in their cars within city limits. They also say they want to take into consideration the public comment that was made today before making changes to the ordinance before they send it off to the city council. Uh, but uh, they also say that it is unclear exactly what changes in the language they will make before that happens in the meantime. Reporting live in downtown, I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. Yeah, Rena, a lot of people watching that one closely. All right, thank you.